Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to another Kian.smart Smart Home Tutorial. If you are considering adding dimming lights option in your home, it definitely has lots of pros. First and foremost, dimming is energy efficient. It helps environment and our bank account. It also causes bulbs to last longer. In today's video, I'll show you how you can dim lights in Home Assistant using ESP Home add-on. What is needed? For sure, a Home Assistant operating system is needed. I'm using a Raspberry Pi in this video. Make sure ESP Home add-on is installed in it. Next, an ESP8266 or ESP32 development board is needed running ESP Home. The next item we need is a PWM MOSFET trigger drive module. A PWM is a method to reduce average power delivered by an electrical signal and chopping it. You can find links of related videos about ESP Home add-on and ESP devices in description. Also, a dimmable LED or a strip is required. A stay tuned. Using ESP32 boards, all pins that can act as output can be used as PWM pins, but the frequency has to be shared between each couple of channels, routed to the same timer, as the ESP32 PWM controller has 8 high speed and 8 low speed channel, and 4 timers for each group. You can find out more about ESP32 pins in this page. I have put the link in description. In this page, we have a table, all pins are described. The green OKs here in this column are best pins to be used as output. The same thing is true using ESP8266 about the pins. This is another page. Here you can find out about ESP8266 pins. We have the same table as ESP32 page. Green OKs are best pins to be used as output. Let's start programming development boards to dim lights. In Home Assistant, I navigate to Supervisor panel, select ESP Home add-on. In ESP Home page, I click on Open Web UI. Here I have a ESP32 and a ESP8266 board. I click on Edit of the ESP8266. I will show you two different codes, one for ESP8266 and the other for ESP32. This is the code for ESP8266. All you have to do is change the pin number, this one. You can change the frequency, I set it to 2000 Hz, and you can change the name. You can find the code or let's say the lines in the description. After entering the codes, these codes or let's say lines, to the YAM file of your development board, click on install, select wirelessly and wait till installation is completed. Let's navigate to the YAM file of ESP32 board. I click on edit. This is the lines for dimming an output. What you have to do is changing the pin number and the name. After entering the codes, click on install, select wirelessly and wait till installation is completed. In installation is completed, I click on stop. Navigate to configuration, select integrations. I find ESP32 
or you can choose your ESP8266 development board. I delete this device then wait a few seconds or I can add integration. If I wait, Home Assistant automatically detects development board. We can either wait or click on add integration, select ESP Home. Here in host section, you have to enter the IP of your development board. It finds it, finish. ESP, one device is fun. This is ESP32 dimmer. Now I navigate to overview page in Home Assistant. At the top right of the screen, click on three dots, then select edit dashboard to add the device to dashboard. I click on add card, select entity, by default, it is selected ESP32 dimmer. I set a name for it. Save. This is the device in Home Assistant dashboard. By clicking on it, you can turn it on or off and change the brightness. Let's go to the board. This is my ESP32 development board connected to a PWM MOSFET trigger drive module. This is a PWM MOSFET trigger drive module. It has two terminals here and two terminals here. If you look at the other side of the board, these two are related for input, input of the power supply. These two are related to output of the board. They must be connected to the bulb or let's say the light. Here we have four holes. Two of them are ground. The other two are trigger or PWM trigger. If you look at the code I used Let's navigate to supervisor, ESP home. Select the YAM file of ESP32. I have used pin 19. So pin 19 is used to dim the light. This is pin 19. I have connected this pin to one of these two pins of PWM module. This pin is ground. I have connected this pin to ground of the drive module. So, power supply is connected to input of the board. Output is connected to the strip I have here and this drive module is triggered by ESP32. Be careful that this PWM MOSFET trigger drive module can tolerate 5 volt DC to 36 volt DC. This is the important part of this device or let's say module. Let's control the dimmer you can turn it off or on and you can adjust the brightness. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you find this video informative, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. I will appreciate it if you support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.